Hold on. Okay, so let me turn this down a little bit. Hold on. I had the Hector, Hector Lobo. I love him. Okay, so we're gonna put it in this bowl, is what I got. You can find a better bowl if you have one. Um, and I, I, you know, it's preference. I love ginger. It's massively good for you. And it's preference here. Um, instead of cooked onions, I, I switch a root. The pork scallion with the beef scallion type of idea. So we just threw in the scallion in replace of the onion. And it saves me having to saute onion. And since, um, it called for a little spice with the onion, when you saute it, I'm just gonna put some of that paste instead. You can read the recipe, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put this into our delight here. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and put our, our, our hamburger here. Okay, there. All right. Um, let's get a spoon. I mean, this is not, this is a joke that I'm using the spoon like this. But this is the general idea, and then you know what I'll do once I'm done filming. I'll get busy. So, um, okay. Okay, so you just kind of want to separate your... You can use turkey, too. For the pork, I'm actually using turkey. You can do these things. Okay, there. You could use a meat substitute. You can also use a meat substitute. I mean, just don't worry about all that. So there's your for me, tons of um, tons of ginger. All right, this is real easy. Um, I don't know what step to really take it in. I mean, you think I don't? I could figure it out if I stopped. But I'm not stopping. I'm just gonna keep going here. And what I'm talking about is these guys. All the liquids, like, oh, you know how I'm always saying you want to mix this and mix that and then do this and then do that. Well, tonight, today, we're not. We're just literally going as we go. Which is, it's going to all get stirred up. But I have lectured on how you really don't always want to do that. It's easier if you stop and try to process. No, excuse me, wrong uh, word there. You try to whatever the word, your combination of ingredients. Anyways, here we are, anyways. Calls for about one tablespoon of this. I like soy sauce. I think that's good. Calls for, I don't remember, I just looked at it. Like one tablespoon of soy sauce. I mean sesame oil. Okay. Two tablespoons of oyster. I'm not too, um, I like soy sauce better. It's salt and sweet, so that should be good. That's two tablespoons, it calls enough for that. Some pepper, okay? And we're adding this as our little decision here. Let's get this. We want it spicy, I like spicy. All right, this is hot, so you don't wanna get carried away with this. I'm talking like a half a teaspoon. All right, and that's the idea and stir that all together. And that is your, um, whatever the word, for your pot sticker, which is right there. Okay? So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed together. Um, it should be very good, very good. You don't need to add salt. I don't think there was salt called for that because you got that soy sauce. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Good, dude. Um, I might add some more soy sauce. But let's get it all mixed up and decide. And then I'll show you how I learned very young how to do it with my mom. How to assemble pot stickers, wontons. I think I want to fry these. And just have them <coughs> fried. I don't know what to serve myself. What else? I mean, I don't... I have cabbage? I could, uh, you know what? 
to use up my cabbage because I was going to make pork or uh, some sort of cabbage. I was doing something with it. It was Chinese. But I have a whole cabbage head. And I was looking at it going, you don't want to waste it. So let me tonight saute with whatever, you know, um, garlic and some sesame. Nice sliced uh, cabbage. That sounds good, right? Yeah, it works, dude. This is how things go, dude. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And then put that on the side with your wontons pot sticker. Okay? All right. Adios.